Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So in our last video, we actually ended up opening up, let's see, let's scroll down a little bit here. We opened up a couple of new areas on the map. And if we take a look real quickly at our current objectives, you can see we have four objectives and each of those four are gonna take us quite a while to run these routes because the routes they want us to set up are gonna take us around the map now. They're, they want us to start connecting different areas of the map with which, which each other and that does make sense but one thing it's going to do is it's going to make this a very lengthy process to run each and every route that we set up so let's go ahead and get started with our first one that i've already conveniently pinned for us and they want us to set up a route with a maximum of eight stops that include each of these three areas so let's go ahead and click on the new route and the main station is actually well if it'll let me choose it there we go main station is right here so we need one station there. So the main station is taken care of. And then let's see, any of these in here apparently would work. We need a minimum of three stops here. And I like the idea of using more stops here. We can only use a maximum of eight. That's the bad thing. So I'm going to have to be very careful because I want to do two stops here in the Steinick region. And that's it. So that's going to leave me five that I can do here. So let's just try to make this fairly simple. So this will be one, uh, let's see, well, two, three, four, and I guess five. Okay, we'll see how that goes. And that gives me five in that region. And then we'll come out and go down through here. This is where it's going to take quite some time. And we'll actually end up, I tell you what, I'm going to pick this one and this one simply so that if we ever wanted to do a round trip, we could just sort of hang a left right here instead of coming down here and finding a way to turn around. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and see if the game likes it. All right, so we need to use a driver to generate income. Okay, I think we've got it. Okay, why do we have, why did this one go way up here? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I can, yeah, whatever. So it's it's done them this way. <laughs> with That is just weird how it has those out of order. Can I drag this? No, I cannot. So main station, let's go ahead and edit this. We have a, our maximum of eight. We've got our main station. And we've got two here. So I think we're, I think we're all set. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and save it even, even though we didn't do anything on that. And let's see, it says use drivers to generate income. Uh, just, I'm not real sure how this is supposed to work out. Let's go ahead and drive it by ourselves. And if that doesn't work out, then it's not the end of the world. I will simply take care of it off camera if that ends up being what they wanted me to do. So we're going to drive this one ourselves. We're going to be using our, our, our urban way. C and G bus. So let's make sure we're going to do it at dawn just because that's where I've generally gotten the most money, even though that is definitely up for additional testing. All right, so start the trip and let's see what we get. Hopefully, we will get some very nice income from this particular route. Okay, we're not starting off very good on our frames per second, so let's hope that that gets better need to adjust our view a little bit all right let's go to the f2 camera the action camera as they call it now remember we're not doing the cashier anymore all right, it looks like everybody's on that is needing to get on excellent everybody's got a seat and we are off so eight stops total All right, I gotta stop back here so that I can see, <laughs> sort of see the red light. All right, there we go. The acceleration is definitely not stellar in this bus. I mean, I, I have my foot to the floor 
with the throttle and it is just not working. Okay, I thought we were actually going to have our stop. There it is. A little bit farther down than I thought it was. Okay. Once again, let's see. We got, oh wow, looks like about everybody got off. Good news is we got some new people coming in. Let's go ahead and get the doors closed. Turn on our blinker and we will be on our way. Luckily the traffic is clear so we can cut our way all the way across. Alright, we'll get over here in the right lane. And hopefully we won't run up on any potholes. Because right now all these shadows are blending in with the road and I can't tell the difference. Okay, next stop here on the right. So yeah, we're definitely getting into some different areas on the map. And they, and they do look different. Uh, they're having some interesting effects on... Oh, looks like we got to get the ramp out here. Okay, no problem. Looks like everybody is on. Get the ramp back in. The door is closed. And we will be on our way. All right, so now we got to make some turns. And this is, let's see, can we turn here? Yeah, we can turn here. All right, this is going to be an interesting journey through this area because if you take a look at the mini map or the the GPS uh, there this is an interesting layout definitely not the the typical grid all right I think we are clear I think so and once again we seems like every time we make a turn we are on the verge of running stuff over Okay, we'll let that truck go, and then we're going to try to make this turn. Oh, and we did. We hit it. All right. All right, can we go? Is this thing going to let us go now? Okay, there we go. We made it. Well, when you get hung up on something here, you are hung up on it. All right, so no surprise there. It's generally a rare occasion when I run a route without hitting at least something. There we go. Let's see, we got some people getting on. Didn't really see anybody getting off. Oh, looks like we're going to have somebody who's going to stand right in the doorway. So let's go ahead and get this over with. It's not going to let us close the doors. It's gonna, instead, it's going to make us get out, go back here, click on this person. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and ask everybody for their ticket. This is that thing that I mentioned to you guys that I generally, in fact, I think this is the first time we've done this on camera. And it's because, in general, this would get pretty boring if we did this every time. So it looks like we have, did I already ask you? We're going to end up making somebody mad. Okay, let's make sure we get our doors closed. And we are back out and going. So those few fair dodgers that we generally have on the routes, I just simply don't worry about. All right, let's head to the next area. And let's hope we can get through here without hitting anything. Easier said than done. There we go. Yeah, these people are awfully trusting by standing up <laughs> the way they are right on the edge of uh, the waiting area. They are giving me way too much credit for my driving ability. 
Okay, looks like we got everybody on board. Let's get the doors closed. And let's get out to it. All right, so now, luckily for us, whenever you turn on your left turn signal, everybody automatically stops that's coming up behind you. All right. All right, with this, you just sort of have to just have to pick a time and go. Because the traffic can be somewhat erratic on how they treat you in this game. Sometimes it seems like they treat these areas as four-way stops. Other times, it seems like they're just going to go until everybody has gone. Alright, let's see what we got. Like here... I'm just going to take off and hope that nobody comes and hits me. Ooh, missed the pothole. Hopefully. Yep, we missed it. Alright, so the frames per second seem to have stabilized somewhere in the 45 to 50 range. Alright, they're turning, so we're going to try to bluff our way in. Woo! That is... Yeah, that's good. Alright, once again, we're just going to hope nobody hits us. And I feel like we're just driving around in circles. Alright, this is what happens whenever you can't read the GPS properly. But we'll get there. Not on time, mind you, but we'll get there. All right, there we go. Sometimes I confuse the, the green mark for my current location rather than what it actually is, which is our next destination. So when you see me miss a, a turn or take the wrong turn, that's generally why. Okay, so we need to actually head this way, I think. All right, please let me over here. Please go. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. When you're taking your driving test, that's exactly how they want you to do that. Just pull into the middle until somebody lets you through. Okay, so let's try this again. I will try to remind myself that the green dot is the destination. All right. Now let's find our next stop, which appears to be just ahead. Go ahead and get the doors open and then put the ramp out. Alright, now we're going to be off and running to our longer journey to the other stops on the other portions of the map. Let's go ahead and pull in the ramp and then close the doors. All right, let's try this again. Oh, we need to turn here, don't we? Yeah. Now I am very sure as to why I am not a professional bus driver. It's going to be interesting to see, but oh, we're supposed to be going straight here, and I was in the wrong lane. There you go. When you are the bigger of the two vehicles, you can just sort of force your way over. Yep, definitely not going to be a professional bus driver in my future. In fact, I'm still trying 
to get over the reality that I'm actually playing a bus simulator. I never thought that would be something that I would do. All right, so we are off and running. Now these roundabouts are extremely tricky because not only do we have to look for oncoming traffic, but we don't have very good acceleration in these buses, so whenever we do get going, it's very slowly. So we're, we can't really cut anybody off, can't really jump out. I almost feel like we took that one on two wheels. Oh, we got that. Yep, I saw that at the last second. So today's episode is more about how not to drive a bus. All right, we got to turn right up here. Okay, hopefully nobody hits us. There we go. Oh, there's another. Okay, I think we were going slow enough over. All right, there was the first bus stop on the side, which I chose not to include. So now we should have a couple more bus stops to finish out this particular route, which is, I mean, this is a pretty odd place for some bus stops, if you ask me. I mean, we're in just open stretches of road. And I don't really see anything around. I mean, am I supposed to think... get over as far as I can. But yeah, this just seems to be sort of out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, looks like everybody has gotten on that's getting on. Alright, I believe that's our cue to get back out on the road. It's almost like this is a national park or something and we're just picking people up that happen to be in the park area. Either that or there's a neighborhood around here that I can't see. All right, so this should be one more stop for us and we'll see how much money we get off of this rather lengthy journey that I ended up extending longer than it should have been. Yeah, there we go. Final final stop coming up here on the right. Let's see. Looking for it. There it is. So, of course, nobody waiting since this will be our terminal stop. See if we have anything we need to deal with, such as trash. Uh, yep, there it is. Someone left some trash. I see some right there. Any more? Nope, I don't see any. So we'll go ahead and click on end right now. And all in all, not terrible. Look at how close that is. That's just... They're taunting us with that one. But all in all, not too bad. I had the one collision, then we hit a, a pothole. But other than that, I must say, that's, that's not, it's not terrible. We made 20900 which is more than I thought we were going to get uh, out of that. But of course, because we have so many routes and so many drivers on those routes, we made $279,708 and four pennies so not bad not bad at all and that's one of the things that makes it a little bit easier the deeper we get into the game regardless of how much money we might or might not make on the particular new route that we're driving you always know that we've got all of this money that we're making from the ads as well as all of these additional ai bus drivers that we got working for us so we just continue to ramp up the amount of money we get uh, on a weekly ba basis here in the game. So 279,000, you can see that takes us up over 674,000 total. Okay, so 
Apparently when it said use a driver to generate income on that route, it actually meant uh, an AI driver. So we'll go ahead and purchase a, a bus and get that started. And of course, I'll have to remember that is actually number 13. So let's go ahead to the bus garage. And we are going to purchase, again, it doesn't seem to matter with the AI. You can give them any bus in the fleet. Uh, so we're going to stick with the cheapest one. So let's go to the shop. We're going to buy the basic Mercedes. It costs us $120,000. You can see we got plenty of money to move this right along. So we're going to buy this bus, and then we're going to customize it. And let's see. So far, we're just going to stick with... Okay, that's not terrible. Let's spin this thing around, see if it's got anything written on it. Okay, bookworm, there you go. Okay, I tell you what, let's mix this up a little bit. And we'll give... We'll go ahead and apply that to this one. Okay, let's come in under employees. And so what we're looking for, oh, we finally got our first ACE level employee. So we got, we've had several professionals now and they continue to level up. Looks like this guy is about to level up as well to an ACE. Excellent. That's exactly what we want. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Oh, there is an ACE available. So we will definitely take that. And now let's go to the route planner. Let's find this, the route that we just did, which shows that 20,918. Let's go ahead and assign some drivers to that. This driver is going nuts right here. Got an issue with that. Let's, Josephine, we'll go there and we're going to keep this particular bus for ourselves and assign this one. Close that out. And you can see we are expected to make 16,700 because Josephine is an ACE level. So she gets very close to what uh, we actually make. And again, the route time is fairly large. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out and let's see what's next on the agenda. Okay, so we're gonna unpin this one because this one should take care of itself next time we run a route. So now we're interested in this one. Let's go main station. Okay, new route and main station agricultural zone, which is going to be over here, and then industry zone. Okay, so we can have a maximum of nine, and both of these are very good, very good. So we can do eight and eight on here, so that's good. I'm, let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, let's see, what would be the easiest way? If I come out and go... There, two, and I'll tell you what, we can go three and four. And then this is where I don't like the names of all these showing up. And I guess what we could do there and then just come back along there, make our way out, and then we'll go these four to finish it up. So we can have a maximum of nine. We've got our nine. And I believe we are hitting exactly everything we need to hit. And again, the reason I am choosing to max out the route with nine stops instead of just the minimum of five is because I want to keep this route on our grid. And if I am able to do that, I want to make sure it makes as much money as possible. So you can see about 17 more minutes. We're going to go ahead and get started with that. Uh, let's start the drive there. And how about that? That's interesting viewpoint we had. Okay, there's the first. Oh, there's the one I need right there. Again, really need to have a way to favorite a particular bus that will be ours to drive until we change it. Okay, again, we're going to keep the same thing with Dawn. Uh, I'll tell you what, what else do we have? Let's just do a daytime. Mix things up a little bit. All right, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and get the trip started. Ooh, a national holiday. Excellent. More people than usual will take the bus. This is awesome. This is exactly what we want. National holidays, similar to rush hour, will give us more passengers and hopefully a lot more money. 
So this is a very, very good start. It also leads me to believe that this might be a little bit more random than I had previously thought. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely got several people trying to get on. Looks like everybody's on. Let's go ahead and get the doors closed. And we're going to head out. And I'm going to try to pay attention this time as to where we're supposed to be turning so we don't get as turned around as we did last time. So frames per second, somewhere in the 45 to 50 range, which I'm used to. Uh, early on in the gameplay, we were getting basically around 60 every time, uh, and pretty much all the time. Uh, but that has not been the case. All right, let's go ahead and start stop far enough back that I can see the red light. Which feels really weird that I'm this far back, but if I'm going to see anything, that's about the only thing I can do. So we, you can see on the bottom left-hand corner that we have about 4 minutes and 40 seconds to get to our next stop, which is some distance away because we started at, again, sort of that main bus area that we recently opened up. And now we've got quite a haul over to the two other areas that we are definitely more familiar with. But it's going to take us a few minutes to get there, that's for sure. Go ahead and turn our blinker on. Alright, so once again, every time I get this thing stopped, it takes a while to get the momentum going and get this bus moving. Oh, we hit a curb. Again, not surprising. Alright, I cannot remember if our next turn is actually going to be to the left. I think it is right up here at, toward the end of this road, but I can't remember for sure. And right now the GPS isn't going to tell me. But I think that's going to be right, right up. Okay, now we're going straight here. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane once again. Me not paying attention, I'm looking at the GPS more than I'm looking at the road. Another impressive straight for a, a great bus driver. Always looking at the GPS, never looking at the road. All right, if we hit a pothole going this fast, 70 kilometers per hour, which isn't terribly fast, but it's fast enough that if we hit a pothole like that, oh, we may have sent some people flying right there. We may have lost some passengers to head injuries. Ooh, don't hit anything. Really trying hard not to hit anything. Okay, here we go. Now, let's go ahead and get our signal on. Yeah, who would have ever known that it's such a relaxing game as this could be so stressful? All right, there we go. Let's get the action cam. And again, we definitely are seeing increased numbers of people getting on the bus. And it looks like we need the ramp as well, which I have tried to put out. And it looks like I was successful. Can't really see it. Go ahead and pull the ramp back in. Okay, it looks like everybody's had a chance to get to their seat. We're off and running. Now that woman was walking across the street and that was... If she was going to continue on to our side of the street and try to completely cross, then she was about to have a very bad day. Oh, up on the curb again. Alright, let's go ahead and honk the horn, get this car out of the way. Love that. don't have those too often but when you do have them it's like wow all right again look at all of the people at the bus stops unfortunately not all of them are getting on all right looks like we've got a few people that are confused about which direction to go okay i think we got everybody on that's getting on
Okay, let everybody get stopped so that we can very slowly pull out onto the street. All right, and right now, let's see. Let me try to see where we're supposed to be going on the GPS. Because it is very easy to get yourself turned around and make, make a wrong turn in this particular area. All right, so we need to turn left right here. Okay. I think we're okay to go across. I hope we're okay to go across. All right, now I can see nothing on the GPS. Trying not to hit the curves. There's a lot going on driving this bus right now. Probably more than I'm capable of handling. Oh, there's another one of our buses. I like it. Oh. Woo. Okay, that was... Again, this is a lot more stressful than I want it really need it to be. <laughs> We're supposed to be taking it easy. It's supposed to be a relaxing game. Oh, look at all these people. I love it. All these people wanting to get on our bus. All right. Quickly to the F2 camp. Look at that. Action camera. Really do wish we had some more character models, though. Some more variation, because you very quickly pick up on on what is currently available. We need more of these people to get on. Because we are... Yeah, we're not full. Come on in here. Alright. So it looks like everybody has had a chance to get on. That intends to do so. Okay. We are the blue dot and not the green one. We are the blue dot and not the green one. That is my mantra. And it is something that when you haven't played the game for a few days, it is very easy to forget. Look at this guy walking across. He is in no particular hurry. He's like daring me to hit him. And he has no idea how close he might be to being right. All right, here we go once again. All these people. National holiday. We will take it. And this is where I'm particularly happy that we don't have the cashier on because this could easily take a long time. We might have to do five or six tickets per stop on a day like this. All right. Is everybody on... I think so. We've got this one lady in the back there that looks like she's trying to head this way. But her pathing uh, doesn't seem to be agreeing with her right now. Alright, so now we are ready to head back out to the connecting road. I'm trying not to hit anything. Yeah, as we get to bigger buses, I have no shot. I mean, there's no telling how much stuff I'm going to hit once we get there. And pedestrians just walking across the street with reckless abandon. Okay, we need to turn left up here. I mean, these pedestrians clearly care less about their lives than than they should. Whew, okay, that was close. All right, so now we're back out to the connecting road, which will be a right, look at this. Look at this, look at our, look at our buses up here. Two of them back to back there, we will take it. Again, that does not matter for the purposes of, of us making money. Oh, looks like we got somebody crossing the street. All right, now they're out of the way. We can be on our way. But yeah, anytime we meet one of our own buses, it is a beautiful thing because it is money being made for us. All right, once again, if we hit any potholes out here like we did last time at this speed, 
we are probably going to cause some head injuries. There was one right there to the to the right, and that was pure luck that I didn't hit it, because I didn't see it until it was too late. Just missed that one as well on the left. Okay, now we need to make a right, and this is another wonderful opportunity for me to get up close and personal with a light post. Okay, so far so good. And again, now we're over into some areas that I really enjoy because these are very lucrative areas. The more routes you can have that take advantage of of these two areas, the better off you're going to be. You're going to make a lot of money over here. Okay, more people just filing in. Looks like up near the front door we got some pathing issues as a guy just got off is just sort of standing there and is likely to get ran over if he doesn't. There he goes. He's slowly moving. Okay, let's go ahead and get the doors closed. Still not operating at capacity, so I don't have any reason to believe that we could really fit a whole lot more passengers on here if I had a bigger bus. Not sure it really matters anyway, but... All right, let's try not to hit any. Ooh, those curves are very risky for me because I could easily take out pedestrians on the side of the road or, let's see, we don't want this one. I have made that wrong turn many times before. Okay, once again, an opportunity for me to get up close and personal. There we go. We missed it. Everything is good. Okay. Everything going well? Still really loving all of these people that are at the bus stops. Unfortunately, I don't think this really extends to our other buses and our other routes. I think it's just for this route. I don't think we get a, a nice increase on all of our routes for the day. Did you see that grandmother right there just taking a selfie? There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> Maybe she just got her hair done. Maybe that's what she was doing on the holiday. Okay, here we go. Another opportunity for me to go around one of these curves and hit either a pedestrian on the outside or another car on the inside. Wow, that is just way too close. A lot closer than I would prefer it be. But yeah, they have strategically placed... Ooh, we will not be blowing the horn as we approach up here because this is one of our buses. So yes, go ahead and make sure you pick up all of those passengers. There we go. Interesting to see sort of some of the pathing issues that the AI have. I really wouldn't have expected it to really matter a whole lot. It's almost like they're wasting uh, CPU cycles on on collision for the AI walkers and, and pedestrians. Personally, I would have just I think I would have just made them to where they didn't have any collision, and they would just sort of walk through each other, and that way you wouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, passenger left behind. Okay, I didn't see it, so we're just gonna keep going. They definitely had opportunities to get on. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they were simply running behind. All right, let's try to hurry up and get on out of here. Ooh, our frames per second have really dropped now. We're down into the mid-20s 
to sort of around the 25 to 35 range right now. Luckily, we're coming up to the end of our trip. Not sure what's causing that, because again, this is an area we've been in multiple times before. But yeah, we're getting a lot of stuttering. Hopefully you guys aren't seeing that as bad as I am. But yeah, we are in... Oop, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not yet, not yet. I got a little excited there. We're going to let our, our bus go ahead and take his time. We still have 10 seconds. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, we're down to 6 seconds. Wow, we must have a lot of people to pick up here. There we go. Now we'll move on forward. And now, let's try this again. Yeah, we're running at 32 frames per second right now. And I would have expected better than that. So something is going on right now in the game. Uh, again, it could be some of the AI pathing that it's trying to figure out what to do. And look at that. Okay, we're giving everybody plenty of time and nobody is headed toward the doors. So we have like one person. This one lonely guy here is riding the bus to the next stop. Poor guy. Of course, he's probably enjoying it. He's probably enjoying the fact that Okay, what exactly is happening right here? So my GPS is telling me nothing. I assume that's supposed to be a a green a green stop up ahead. But it's not showing me anything, so I guess we're going to find out. All right, is it right here it's trying to get me to go to? I don't think it is, but I'm a little confused right now and I don't want to miss it. Wrong. Okay, it says wrong bus stop. Okay. But it's not really telling me a whole lot right now. Not really telling me a whole lot. Uh, because my... Let's see. We are to the end... And I have no idea what to do now. We didn't end the route. Okay, we didn't end the route. Looks like some people outside are already starting up with the fireworks. Okay. All right, I'm just going to stop at this one as well. I'm not sure what's going on with this game right now. So I'm just going to start, and it can ding me if it wants to. I'm actually kind of hoping that something I do will reset it. All right, well, I'll tell you what, what happens if I pause it? Where is, well, that doesn't really help me. So I don't really know what it wants me to do. And I don't remember from when I was setting up this route, I don't remember, I don't remember what was supposed to be the last stop and whether or not we've actually reached it. I don't know that. All right, so this route might turn out to be a bust. I'm going to have to abandon this one and figure out later on exactly what's happened because this is not looking good. It's telling me to go nowhere. All right, so we're going to make this turn one more time. And, all right, it's already told me that this is the wrong stop. So I'm going to do it again. 
and then we're actually going to end things right here there we go so we know this is the wrong stop we figured that out before but there's nothing up there in the area that it's trying to get me to stop so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit escape here and hit finish trip I, again I don't know what was going on there it never gave me the indication and that is horrendous that is nowhere near what I was expecting to get from this plus we had the holiday there I thought we were gonna make some good good money but unfortunately that was not the case so that was a complete bust in just about every way I can imagine but again the good news is we made right at three hundred thousand dollars so we've got plenty of money right now to load up on uh, some more buses more employees but I'm trying to get through some of these objectives first and I'll show you why so there we go we complete our first objective now this one which is there we go okay so now it's set and when we come back next time we will try to take care of these last two and in the process we will attempt to uh, complete all of these and you can see that if we are able to complete those we get the ninety thousand dollars which at this point really isn't as big of a deal as unlocking the harbor which is right over here uh, or that may actually be right here that it's talking about so we'll get over into this area and if it's anything like these other two zones it should give us quite a bit of money so this was an interesting episode some interesting things happened and some of which were good others not so good but we'll come back next time and we will add another AI to the stable and get started and I think we'll be able to complete the I like trains objectives in our next video so thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more as we continue our let's play series of bus simulator 18